Hey guys, it's Dale from Elephant Memories. This is part two of my 3D resin layered painted sea turtles. In part one, I did a lot of prep work and just a little bit of detail in three layers of resin. For this final layer, I start out the same way by creating a blank white painted canvas, which is the top shell of the large turtle along with three hatchlings. Notice how this really makes the head and fins look like they're much deeper in the turbulent ocean waters. For an adult, the distance in the depth between the top of the shell to the head and fins could be six to 10 inches, which is really significant. Once the white dried, it's time to add the shell details. The soft body of a sea turtle is encased within a shell. The shell has two parts. The bottom shell is called the plastron. The part that we're now focused on is the top shell. This is known as the carapace. The scutes, or scales, are unique to each turtle. I'm just painting the outline of the scoots first with a dark color, leaving a thin white line between each one. When I'm done with this, I can just paint them all in with a solid dark brown. Don't worry about imperfections, that just makes your turtle unique. Now go back with a medium color reddish brown. I am referencing a green sea turtle. Their carapace is usually anywhere from an olive color to a reddish brown or even black. The plastron has a greenish tinge and this is where they get their names from. Remember in part one, when I was painting the first layer, you can only faintly see the shadow beneath the turtle. That shadow had a lot of imperfections and it was left there on purpose. The water distorts things from above and I'm going for a windy day with lots of motion. Don't worry too much about the brush strokes either as the resin will create some really cool effects with those. I did a good deal of blending and layering of lots of colors to the scoots to make it more realistic.
Notice here that I added a few highlights to the head and fins as the sunlight might hit those few areas while she's swimming against the current. This is the final resin layer. I'm just adding a bit of heat to level everything out. I added a good deal of white as it's a windy day and a small rocky channel which would naturally be very turbulent. Here is the final result. There's just a hint of the algae growth on the rocks and shells in the corners. Lots of movements in the water, and the turtles look like they're really swimming against the current. I'm super happy with the results. I hope you might have learned a few new techniques and give this a try. Be sure to tag me on Instagram at one elephant memories. I look forward to seeing what you've created. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time.